All right, it is uh, March 24th, um, almost 1 o'clock, so everyone probably has heard the news already. Uh, Guar frontman Dave Brocky, also known as Odorous Urungus, has passed away. Um, I just kind of wanted to make a quick little video, kind of uh, retelling some stuff about Guar. Um, I, I got into Guar kind of late, I would say, like only in the past couple of years have I really gotten into them. Um, I really, really dig a lot of their music, though. Um, especially their first couple, and then their, um, kind of the first at, in, like, the 2000s. Um, but I would say, like, Scum Dogs of the Universe, or America Must Be Destroyed, probably my favorite. <clears throat> um, the first time I saw Guar, they were at the Crossroads in Kansas City, which is an outdoor venue. Um, I remember it was the day I finished my finals in college. I was like, oh, what a better way to spend the final, you know, being done with school. Um, and I went there and uh, Cattle Decapitation opened. They were great. I remember a lot of people heckling them because not the exact same kind of music you get with Guar. But... And then Priestess was on there too. <clears throat> and then Guar came out. Um, I remember on that tour, it was a big deal. They got Sleazy P. Martini back. Um, they did Slaughterama, the entire thing. That was really fun. But for that show, I stayed back, um, just kind of watched the show, um, took in everything, all that. Uh, a couple years later, in 2010, they were at the Granada in Lawrence, Kansas. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to put on um, some stupid... Sweatpants and a dumb t-shirt I don't care about, and I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to be down in the pit, and I'm going to get messed up. That show was good. Mobile Death Camp was there, Inferneon opened, and then the Casualties. I thought the Casualties were pretty fun. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I actually got down in the pit for Guar, and I was like one of the tallest people there, so I took the full brunt of everything there um, when they brought out the big cannon. Like it's just a high-powered fire hose of crap. Uh, I remember they like sprayed it in my face for like five seconds straight. Um, that entire that show was such a unique and fun experience. I mean, I was just like <clears throat> after after like three songs, people couldn't even stand up. They were just kept falling down, and I couldn't breathe. I was laughing so hard. Like it's it's one thing to like Guar for their music. Um, but it's, their live shows are so unique and special. I think, I hope everyone got to at least see them once. Um, Dave Brocky, um, he's, I don't know if this has given him too much credit, but kind of, I, I, I kind of want to put Guar up there as the bands, as one of the bands in like the early 90s. And in the late 80s, early 90s, that kind of helped spearhead uh, that charge against, like, the PMRC and stuff like that. Um, they kind of created, or at least took advantage of this trope that, like, oh, rock music is evil, satanic stuff ruining our kids. And, I, I mean, I didn't know Dave personally or anything like that, but that seems like something he loved. Um, he loved, at least with Guar's lyrics and stuff. And their stage show. He loved offending people. But I think he offended people kind of to call people out on their hypocrisy. Um, you know, all these... all these for every, for every lyric they have about a giant dinosaur or uh, Ronald Reagan coming back to life as a robot, um, they actually did have quite a bit of uh, like socially conscious and political and, and stuff like that lyrics. Um, I think that's kind of something that a lot of people miss with Guar. Um, they are a reflection of the time period that they're in. Um, but yeah, so uh, I think rock and roll. There's a there's a lot of bands in the history of rock and roll, but not there's not a lot that you can say have la have made a lasting impression and changed the outcome of rock and roll. Um, I think Guar might be one of those bands. If Alice Cooper created the rock show, Guar made it infamous. Um, but yeah, 
So rest in peace, Dave Brocky, Odorous Urungus. Um, we'll see you uh, in Antarctica later. Thanks.